What's one way we could make a better bacon cheeseburger? We could turn the buns into grilled cheeses. White Today guy. we'll be using our 36 inch premium flat iron from Char Griller. This recipe, we're not going to have regular buns, so you need to have some bread and some mayonnaise. And you're going to need some 80-20 ground chuck, some bacon, some sliced onions, and a whole lot of cheese. Now you want to get your cooking surface very hot here. And we're just going to throw our bacon right on top of it. We're not too concerned with looks. We kind of want it to mound up on top of the sandwich. But I would suggest that you take it directly out of the refrigerator so the fat's not sticking to the other fat. It's kind of annoying and it'll just make the whole process a little easier for you. Now once we've got all our bacon on, we're going to get that char griller lemon pepper seasoning. It's a great blend to make the natural flavors of that bacon pop. So we're going to give it a liberal coating. Now our bacon is just about done, but we want to make use of that bacon fat. So we're going to go ahead and throw those onions right in on top of it. It's going to soak that flavor of that bacon up and it's going to make those onions premium. Now that we got those onions soaking up that fat grease, we're going to go ahead and hit it with some of that char griller chicken rub. Don't be fooled by the fact that it says chicken. It really is the most multi-purpose rub that char griller makes. It's fire on just about anything. The bacon fat and the chicken seasoning are gonna make these onions muy fuego. But if he looks twice the gun to kick his lily ass! So take bake! Overcooked bacon is gross, so don't overcook it. And make sure you let it sit on a paper towel so that grease gets soaked off of it. I also like how those onions are looking, so we're gonna go ahead and pull those too. It's time to get your bread and hit it with a healthy dose of mayonnaise. You can use butter or something else, but I think mayonnaise adds a richer body of flavor. And we're gonna get the cheese on there pretty quick, especially because my flat top is still pretty hot. I probably should turn it down a little bit, but you know, I like to live a little dangerously, you know what I'm saying? I like to live life on the edge. Now I got this thing pretty hot, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip mine a couple extra times just to make sure that I'm not burning it. But as you can see, we're starting to get a nice toast. And that's exactly what I'm looking for right there. Pretty much the perfect grilled cheese. So for our burgers, we're using 80-20 Chuck. You can use any burger you want. It really doesn't matter. I don't want anything that's going to be too overly greasy because we have a lot of cheese and bacon and onions that have been cooked in bacon fat. So I'm going to kind of try and minimize my fat here. Now I want to be a little bit closer to a smash burger, so I'm going to go ahead and flatten these out with the weight, even though I'm not really going to push them all the way to smash burger status. And all the girlies say I'm pretty fly for a white guy. Now we're going to get our char griller steak seasoning. It has the right amount of sweet and spice, and we're going to go ahead and hit these burgers hard. Now if there's one thing you know by watching my channel, I'm all about layering flavors, so we're going to go back with that chicken seasoning. It's good on beef too, and we're going to hit it hard as well. We want a good crust on the outside of these burgers. We got our bacon, our onion, our burgers all put together right. Let's cut it in half and take a look at what this guy looks like. Look at that, burgers piled high, more cheese than you should probably eat in a lifetime, bacon cooked to perfection, the onion sauteed in that bacon fat. This, my friends, is the ultimate cheeseburger. At this point, I feel like I've been holding these sandwiches for eons. It's time to dig in, Nate. Yeah, bro. What do you think about this first impressions? Oh, I can't wait. This is cheese insanity, my man. Cheers. Not only, hold on, grilled cheeses, <laughs> bacon, cheese in between. Come on, it's so much cheese. There's Should onions betwixt this cheese. madness. Betwixt. Let's uh, put these betwixt our lips. There we go. Mmm. <laughs> Whoa. 
Come on, man. Oh, fire. Dude. Elbow mm. bump. Well, guys, if you thought that this was going to be delicious, you are 100% correct. Oh, this was great. If you didn't think it was going to be delicious, then don't, don't ever doubt me again. Hater? Haters? Get out of here. Go to hell, Terry. But for real, though, either way, join me next week for a brand new video. Mm. Yeah, I need another bite. Yeah, let's go. Three, four, five, six, seven.